All right. Federal officials, they are considering sanctions for those connected to Iran following the attack on world famous author Salman Rushdie this summer in Chautauqua County. And as those prosecuting the incident at the Chautauqua Institution want a protective order for witnesses tonight, Justin Gould with our news partner WNY News Now has the latest on the case. The Wall Street Journal reported this week the Biden administration could restrict global financials to those who have offered rewards to kill author Salman Rushdie because of his 1988 book, The Satanic Verses. While prosecutors have not specifically laid out a connection between the fatwa, a $3 million bounty placed on Rushdie's head by the late Ayatollah Khamenei of Iran and accused attacker Hadi Matar, they are seeking to withhold the names of witnesses to the attack. Today, DA Jason Schmidt formally petitioned Chautauqua County Court Judge David Foley for a protective order for witnesses' identities. The hearing was expected to take place in what's called in-camera due to its sensitive nature, where the judge would review witness information in private to determine if it would be allowed in open court. However, this proceeding was postponed now to next Wednesday so that Matar's legal team could take part. They will be required to agree to a temporary non-disclosure agreement to keep the witnesses' identities from Matar. There's already a gag order in place to protect the case's specifics from the public. Following a hearing earlier this week, I talked to DA Jason Schmidt about the order that he's seeking. He says that when event moderator Henry Reese tried to help Rushdie following the stabbing, he was also allegedly attacked. While Matar is behind bars, Schmidt fears that others could act on his behalf. Now, Judge Foley was also expected to issue a ruling today as to whether he would extend time for the DA to go over evidence in the case. He's now postponed that to next Wednesday as well. The DA telling us he's received over 30,000 files alone from New York State Police. Reporting in Jamestown, New York, Justin Gould, WNY News Now.